Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Brown Bar by Club. This video is not a powerlifting video nor a strongman video, but instead this is a tribute to one of the greatest bodybuilder and a YouTuber, John Meadows, who just passed away a couple of days ago. If you are not aware of John Meadows, I would say you should. John Meadows, who is also known as Mountain Dog, he was an American professional bodybuilder. He was an IFPP pro. He was known for his great physique and a great content on bodybuilding on YouTube. Yes, he was an amazing YouTuber. We learned a lot as a student of the strength sports. We learned a lot in terms of like bodybuilding, how to do reps, how to target certain muscle groups. So in this video, I just want to make sure that we are remembering that legend who gave away a lot of information to the community for free. In this video, I will mention top three things that I learned from John Meadows or Mountain Dog, which I think I want to talk to my audience as well. The first and foremost thing that I learned from John Meadows was how to target your lats and how to isolate them while doing any type of bodybuilding exercise. So there's an exercise called Meadows Row, which I'm doing right now. I'm gonna link up the video in the description where John Meadows himself explained how to do these Meadows row. To perform these Meadows row, you have to make sure that your bar is in a T bar position and you have to use your lats to stretch and to bring the bar to the top. This is a perfect exercise if you are looking to isolate your lats. Most of the back exercises, they are the compound movements because you use a lot of your forearms, biceps, shoulders, traps. But these special rows do help you to isolate them without putting any emphasis on biceps or any other muscle groups, which is amazing. You can use these rows in your warm-ups as well. If you are planning to do any deadlifts or even bench or just general back training, these rows are amazing. The second thing that I learned from John Meadows was regarding the diet. He call it as 90-10 rule. Instead of me explaining what that is, I'm going to show you the clip of John Meadows explaining that. Is I call it the 90-10 rule. And what that means is 90% of the food should be, we'll call it minimally processed and nutrient dense. And then 10% can be fun food. But I really think that if you follow this 90-10 rule, you're mentally, you're going to feel pretty good, you know? And the 10%, it's it's psychological, right? You don't feel like you're being, uh, you know, re repressed, like you can't eat anything, you're starving. Um, so there's this mental um, feeling that you get, this is okay, I can do this. And then there's a social aspect. Like nothing drives me more crazy than when I have somebody that I'm working with and they won't take a meal or two to eat with their family or maybe their kids have a birthday and they won't have a piece of cake with their kids. Um, you get, you know, there's certain cultures that have family dinners together. Um, and I think, you know, I hear people say, well, food is nothing but a source of energy. That's all it's for. No, it's not. Food is so much more than just energy, just a source of energy. It's so much more than that. It's your culture. It's your friends. It's your family. It's a time to bond. It's you enjoy a good meal together. And I think, you know, I hear people say, well, food is nothing but a source of energy. That's all it's for. No, it's not. Food is so much more than just energy, just a source of energy. It's so much more than that. It's your culture. It's your friends. It's your family. It's a time to bond. It's you enjoy a good meal together. Like you get to my age, you look back and you're like, man, why did I do that? Um, so anyways, I think number one, simple thing is I want you to think 90-10. Four out of every, four out of every or nine out of every 10 of my meals are gonna be pretty good, but then I'm gonna have some fun. It could be every two days if you eat five, five meals a day. If you eat four meals a day, it'll be a little bit longer, like two and a half days or three days. Away. The third thing that I learned from Mountain Dog was an exercise in that real delt training. It's called real delt swings. How many of you cannot train your real delts because every time you train them, your traps and other shoulder muscles start overtaking them. If you are one of them, don't worry. These real delt swings can really help you in building those real delts. The crux of this exercise is that you have to limit your range of motion to the point where your traps start overtaking. This range of motion will be different for every individual. It will depend on how strong your traps are. 
All right, these were the top three things that really made difference in my own training and my lifestyle with the help of John Meadows and his YouTube content. All my thoughts and prayers are with the John Meadows family and to the John Meadows rest in power legend.